we're gonna have to do some parkour to get this one, I think. Yeah, I, I, I want to find me a heal slot in Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> if, if they rage change the build Warcraft, or maybe he will have to then. I can that be also the, if they came on Warcraft. That'd be sick. I mean, I don't know how good uh, a lot of a lot of their English is, but you know, either way, it'd be cool. Uh, Master DG, our findings, you say? Well, there is something of tale of a tale there. No sooner had we chanced upon a promising looking sheaf of letters than we were ambushed from the shadows by great white beasts. To it seemed the heretics foresaw our coming and left behind their pets to discourage further investigation. Several of our numbers were badly wounded. Oh shit. And you cannot carry out um, your duties until the creatures are slain. We have not the time to wait for reinforcements, so let us deal with these pets ourselves, Axel. I agree. Let's do that. Inside we go. Yeah, he'll need a translator for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. That was weird. It kept like cancelling the event. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe they, maybe they get like primals on there or something. Yeah, dude, I need to get back into fucking practicing. Like learning Japanese. Oh, Cause I was doing it for a while and then I stopped. And I haven't done any since. I've basically forgotten everything. Fuck. Uh, the beasts are slain then. My thanks, Master DG. We may return to our duty without fear of a moment. Alright, cool. You wish to track down Lady Iceheart? Is that not? Is this not so? The records we discovered here. Um, those beasts mauled by com my comrades appear to be some manner of the correspondence. If we had not the luxury of pursuing their contents more closely, intent as we were on surviving an onslaught of fang and claw, but I'd wager those expite, um, epos epest pistols, epistols, yep, contain more than friendly, uh, salutations betwixt uh, lonely heretics. Uh, my interrogation of the patrol proved fruitless. Either we divine some clue from these letters, or we wander the snowfields and pray that the gods lead us right to Iceheart's door. Tis hardly a choice at all. Uh, collect heretic pistols. Okay. What's something funny? Yeah, sure. Look to me. I'll uh, have a look. All right, so we seem to find three of these around the place. All right, that's two, and one of that. Sweet, easy. Whoop. Whoop. Trying to find it, no worries. All right. Yeah, we found it all. Have you recovered most of the heretics' correspondence? Or much of the heretics' correspondence? I have. Splendid! Added to the contributions from Master Lavalier and Sir Estamine, we now have more than a dozen letters. What have we here, then? Hmm. Every one of these pages is a record of the dealings betwixt the Gorgane Mills heretics and their fellows in the Ark Alpha Empathetic. Ah, uh, yeah, you can link it, yep. There were requests for foodstuffs, clothing, and all manner of provisions. Iceheart's followers must yet inhabit the ruins we had thought abandoned. Uh, let's see, I'll open this up. Uh, the Arkafar Amphitheatre. The very place. Uh, let's pause that. Oh, I've seen that. <laughs> I've seen that video. It's fucking amazing. Uh, what a fucking amazing edit.
<laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> like him, like, pulling out the drink from the fridge and shit. And she just continues to lose her mind. Oh, it's so good. Oh god, that's a fucking great video. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the very place where you witnessed the manifestation of the primal Shiva, was it not? Yep. If that is our destination, the journey will be long indeed. The amphitheater lies on the other side of a treacherous track of, track of ice, and so that cannot be swiftly crossed. Then we must place our faith in the ethernet. As you may recall, our dear friend Moonbraider succeeded in recreating the Ark Afar Beacon after it had been destroyed by Lady Iceheart. At the time, it was assumed that the uh, resultant etherite would only be temporarily viable, but given that the heretics of Gorgon Mills seem to have been in regular contact with their brethren in the, at the amphitheater, I'll wager it still functions. I suggest we make for the etherite within Snowcloak without delay. Correct me if I'm wrong, it's nine, but in the course of um, mapping the Snowcloak tunnel system, a passage was discovered leading out into the Western Highlands, was it not? Might it be possible for us to reach the Aetherite from this side of the wall? It should. How's Dudendare, uh, Durandare posted soldiers at the Western Highlands entrance after the tunnels were cleared, but they will not deny us entry. Alright. Let's go. Alright, well, we'll... I'll take this, and I'll turn in this quest. I'm gonna get back there. Sweet. Alrighty then. Open up him now now! You've ordered go three of them? Thank you uh, ever so much. You're not injured, are you? Here, please take this. It's your cut of the fee for the work. In incidentally, did you happen to see the farm on the far side of the bridge? Those Mylodons have made it difficult to access that area, and the bridge has been left to fall apart. After we repair the bridge, one day we might be able to rebuild that farm. Sweet. Alrighty then, let's run! Um, yeah, I think once I finish this part of the quest chain, I'm gonna go have a shower, so I'll be like BRB on stream. Um, go have a shower, and then, just cause I wanna go to bed early tonight, and then we'll do the next 10 quests in the quest chain. Uh, which is like the next, like, section, I guess. Um, and then, um, that'll be the end of the day. Tomorrow, I'm not sure about streaming tomorrow or Wednesday, actually. I, I, if I'm going to stream tomorrow or Wednesday, it's going to have to be during the day. Because uh, Tuesday night or afternoon, I'm going to my dad's for his birthday. And Wednesday afternoon slash night, I am working with my client. So, yeah. Should be all good, though. Hopefully, we can get... You know, stream in each of those days and finish, um, you know, a section of the quest chain each day. Right. Ah, the guests of House Fortemps, accompanied by the Azure Dragoon, no less. Oh, there's Aether Current right there. I cannot imagine what brought you out this far, but you are welcome to enter the tunnels if that is your will. Assuming the Arkafar beacon still functions, and we must pray to the Twelve it does, we shall arrive at our destination in mere moments. Though I do not expect to be greeted by the Primal Shiva, we should nevertheless be prepared for a frosty reception. The heretics do not like to rejoice at the appearance of uninvited guests, particularly ones with, without history. Fair. Uh, two seconds. I'll grab this while I'm here. Nice, sounds good. Warm up with bones, that's what she said. And that's what I'm gonna do. Gotta warm up me bones. All right. Sweet. Proceed. Um, 
An impressive structure. I wonder how many ages it has endured. Mayhap you should uh, ask its occupants. They seem a friendly bunch. Do they actually seem friendly? Nope. <laughs> Dogs of Ishgard, is it not enough that you banish our beloved saint? Will you not be satisfied until the ice is slick with the last drops of your of our blood? Really? That sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I worry about my dad, for sure, health-wise, but, um... Yeah. I'd be, it'd be good to... I haven't seen him in a little bit, so it'd be good. You know, I think a lot of other people from my family have done as well. So, yeah. Oh, shit. Stay your weapons. We come under the flag of Parley. We wish only to speak to your mis with your mistress, that we might broker a peace. Do you think us fools, boy? It will take more than honoured uh, words to earn our trust. You walk with the Dragon Slayer, and we know all too well what he is capable of. My reputation precedes me. They give us little choice. Come, brothers, may Dragon Wings bear us to victory. Alrighty then, let's go. Yeah. Spin to win, baby. Uh, oh, there's more. Hello. These guys look like. And grab these guys. Your god is. Oh, damn. Fucking Dragoon over here, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, that sucks, dude. Uh, it's. Yeah, it's weird. Like, the last. It's been like two years now, really. Being kind of crap for everyone. Some people more so than others. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, that guy just turned into a monster. So did that guy. Oh, got more coming. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to. Okay. Uh, so I'll have a look at that after this battle. Yeah, exactly. What will be the normal? Go grab these guys. No, you're falling. Stalks on the first one. Yeah. This last guy? Boom. Sweet. I'll check the city out quickly. Okay, that's a long ass video. I'll have to watch that later. Um, I'll just keep that open on my thingy. Um, they fight like demons, tis death to remain. Fall back, brothers, retreat to the cinders. I mean, I just want to fucking talk to Iceheart, guys. Like, 
Do you really have to make this so fucking difficult? I just want to talk to Iceheart. I see no sign of Lady Iceheart. With that, we could have a question one of them. What would you ask that we do now not know already? Already know. They make for the cinders, so must we. And so must we. Even should an ambush await us, tis certain there will be more heretics to question. Yeah. He looks like a fucking demon, dude. The cinders, you say? I confess, the name is un unknown to me. Mayhap you would be so good as to enlighten us, as to name. I suspect it is the heretic's way of referring to the Dreaming dra Dragon. An island of sorts found in the midst of the frozen lake of Ashpool. Some 500 years past, tis told that the Azure Dragoon of the Age fought a dragon of titanic proportions. After a savage struggle, the mighty creature was weakened un unto the point of death and forced into a magic slumber by an entire chapter of the Holy Sea Sorcerers. Here long, a rain of ash and cinders did begin to fall upon the sleeping serpent's motionless form, covering the creature at length in a shroud of grey. Of course, a thick layer of ice has since fallen on top of it, but you, uh, but you may be sure I speak true. Okay. A fascinating tale. We should make haste to this ashen isle. I mean, honestly, everyone in this game is good looking. <laughs> Male, female, whatever else. Like, they're all attractive characters, regardless. Uh, the Dreaming Dragon lies far to the west. Before we approach the Frozen Beast, however, there is another place I would visit first. I am told the Convictors have set up camp in Twin Pools. Their leader, Jen, Jen Talot, may have information of uh, use to us. Ah, but mayhap you are not familiar with that name either. The Convictors our dragon slayers after a fashion but i'm willing to wager that they encounter their fair share of heretics if we are indeed walking into a trap i would learn learn all there is to know of our foe a sound suggestion let us speak with those with these convictors then and temper our haste with a measure of caution Alrighty then uh where are we off to Jeez, all the way over there. Okay, let's uh, get running. I am assuming there is a way out this way. The Dragoon story. I always liked Dragoons. They're pretty sweet. I remember using them a lot in uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Oh, fuck, I love I love Final Fantasy Tactics. So good. one of the newer one um the one that i played was on game boy advance so i'm not sure if that counts as the older or newer one. <laughs> oh how's that we got a hunt so the old one. okay that counts as the old one there you go Polar bears we have to kill. Let's see. Three. Okay. I'm sure I'll we'll find more. Speaking of. Hello. They're on the uh, DS. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, I love the Game Boy Advance one. I used to play it all the time on emulator. I never actually had Game Boy Advance, so I always played them on emulators. Good fun, man. That made Pokemon game. Which one? Uh, I remember that was that uh, the Pokemon Uranium. 
I think, I think that's what it was called. That came out a while ago. Ooh, another ether current. Sweet. I'm glad that they're like really easy to see. That one? Oh, okay, that's, yeah. I played a little bit of it. It's alright. Go away, douchebag. I need to move my positive buffs up a bit because the number, the countdown of it, it's like hard to see, hard to see it. Um, hard layouts, let's... Where is it? Enhancements? Yeah. Let's move it up like that. That should be good. More characters. Wait, what? Really? Dude, I remember uh, in Warcraft 3, it was kind of hard to play them on Reforge. They kept, I'm pretty sure they kept getting banned because um, they fucking fucked up Reforge. Um, but like, there were these, uh, like, uh, what was it? Fight of Characters? That was probably my favorite one. But there's always like these anime battlers where it's just like, uh, just kind of like. Dota, but instead of um, Dota characters, it's like all anime characters. It's so like fight of characters had like Goku and Naruto and um, like Gilgamesh and shit, like just fucking heaps of characters um, across lots of different animes. Animes, um, yeah. I'm, I remember the the chick, like the character from uh, Leak Spin. I can't remember the name of that character, what she's from, but she was really overpowered. <laughs> um, no, I think there's like also like uh, Helsing, um, yeah, like a whole there's like heaps of characters from so many different animes. It was awesome. It was so much fun. Lots, lots of characters from Bleach, of course. Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty sick. Well, well, what do we have here? Hoping to join the esteemed ranks of the Convictors, are we? The hard-eyed uh, lad looks promising, but you have a frail look about you, boy. I give you three days here the calm, uh, the wilds claim your corpse. I beg your pardon? Watch out, baby. Be not so quick to judge. I have seen this frail youth fell heretics with a flick of his wrist. And who are you? Oh my, by the fury. That armor, that lance, the azure dragoon himself graces our camp. Pray forgive my disrespect, sir. I am Jantelot. Uh, leader of the Convictors and fellow Slayer of Dragons. May I ask what winds, fair or foul, carry you into our humble camp? Ah, Lady Iceheart, is it? I I know her by reputation, but I'm afraid I've seen naught of her or her people. That said, my own men can be well, somewhat lax when it comes to making reports. You may wish to question them yourselves. Thank you, we shall. Axel, Estony, uh, let us make our way through the camp. See what information there is to be had. Alright, very well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, Estony! Jeez! Oh, cool, this unlocks another Aether Current. Nice. I remember you. How could I forget? You're the lad who was in the Azure Dragon's company. Since you are here anyway, may perhaps you might like to tear out your hand at a spot of hunting before you depart. See for yourself what life is like for us convictors. The Dravanian horde is stronger than you might expect. Unless you've seen, unless you've been at it for years, like I have, I think you're prudent to start with something simple and then work your way up to dragons. I suggest runes. Slay three of those and come back here and consider it all well. Uh, very well. And oh, that's another ether card. I'll say, okay, cool, nice. Unlock all the quest ether currents. Cowards, all of you, have you no shame at all? I I beg I beg you, or, uh, wait, you're not, are you not Master DG? Honored ward of House Fortemps? Praise alone, surely you will consider my request. Know you the Dusk Vigil? Westernmost of the Citadel Watchtowers built to warn of the Horde's approach. 
Uh, Twas lost following the calamity, another victim of the snows. Within the ruins lies a priceless treasure which must needs be reclaimed. I thought to enlist the services of these so-called dragon slayers, but it seems their courage is not as boundless as they would have you believe. But you, sir, you are not one to shy away from danger, am I right? True. Yep. Very good, very good indeed. There is a sculpture of the Fury within the Dusk Vigil's chapel. An ice round rondel is set in its helm. I would have you prize it free and deliver it to me. The vigil is not difficult to find. Simply head north towards Banepool until you come to the gates. Knights may bar your passage, but should you explain who you are, they will grant you leave to enter. Very well, and I'll go interact with the Trekker Keep here as well. Oh yeah, they, they are definitely hardcore sims. Definitely. 100%. Uh, okay, cool. So we got... Uh, that quest up there. And there's another one somewhere. Can you redo story missions for like the massive XP they give? Or so when you do New Game Plus, do you not get XP anymore? Alright, camp of the convictors. Only one attack. Surely one of these people have encountered heretics while out hunting. Pray speak with as many as you can, Axel. Alright. Uh, Luce. Looking for heretics, you say? Hmm. Why don't you go and bother Puriket or someone? I've seen... I've enough trouble keeping these preening fops fed and clothed as it is. Tis no business of mine what the folk do with themselves out there in the wilds. Fair enough. Or is it duty overall? Oh, is there a duty coming up that gives a lot of XP? That you can join with me? I mean, yeah, if you can join it, why not? <laughs> um, nay, I know of no heretics. Do you honestly expect me to keep track of every uh, Reitmo, Vermont, and Bertinant that wanders in and out of camp? Okay. Yes. Yeah, probably. Uh, hmm. Are there any heretics in the area? I have not the faintest idea. Why a heretic could pass under my very nose and I should be none the wiser. I hunt dragons, my dear fellow. The big ones. Forever do I scan the skies for signs of my prey. I care not for the miserable creatures that scurry upon the ground. Fair enough. Alright. Uh, Periquet. Let's have a chat to him. Summit, I can tell you, help you with my lord. Yes. There are going to be two true dragoons. Me and the Azure Dragoon. Heretics, is it? Well, I've seen, never seen one myself, but that ain't to say I haven't seen, heard a thing or two. We would be grateful for any information you can share with us. The gods know we've gleaned precious little from talking to the rest of these people. It, if it please, my lord, I am Periquet, a soldier by trade, though not much of one, if I'm honest. It weren't for the love of stabbing folk that I took up the sword. Spear, see? No, it was by order of Sir uh, Jantalot's father. Still, as long as they keep paying my wages, I ain't fussy as to what they'd have me do. Not everyone's as patient as me, though. Plenty of low-born lads who get pressed into service start grumbling before they've even seen their second battle. And once they've gotten got to thinking how unfair it all is, it don't take much uh, for the heretics to turn their heads. From what I hear, the simple promise of freedom tends to do it. That may explain how Lady Iceheart was able to expand her following so swiftly. Indeed. Sad to say, some mates of mine gobbled down their heretics' tripe and asked for seconds. Told me they were off to the Western Highlands to light a single fire. That's how you let the heretics know you're serious about joining their ranks, apparently. Send up some purple smoke and the bastards come to you. Ah, purple smoke, you say. Is that so? Why then? I am minded to start a fire. Alright, cool. Purple flame, purple flame. Oh, there's also unlocks another ether current. Sweet. We'll be flying here in no time. If I, if we are to lure our foes to our position, 
and we must find a means of producing a purple a, a signal of purple hue. As it so happens, I once heard the tale of a trapper who dropped the hide of a woolly yak onto his campfire. Aside from the terrible stench, the story also described in detail how the smoke from the smothered flames was tinged deep violet. You are a monster hunter of some note, are you not, Axel? It should prove a trifling task for you to procure a number of hides. We may need to burn more than one here, the heretics notice how be here. Very well. Master Alphano, you and I shall gather wood for the fire. Hey, it will take both both of us to find enough dry fuel in this frozen wasteland. Let us meet again at the Dreaming Dragon with the fruits of our labor. Fair enough. Oh, that's you! <laughs> oh, shit. Nice. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, that's so sick. How do you get this mount? Is this from doing hunts? Yeah, if, if I remember correctly, aren't the dinosaur mounts from doing hunts? Oh, fuck. Uh, that, I had to help one of the roommates get that washing shit sorted out. Um, want to help out, do you? Well, there's plenty that needs doing, and killing besides. I'm sure you've noticed that dragons aren't the only thing we have to contend with out here. Oh my god, that's sick. Damn. Is that from, like, the PvP stuff? I can't remember, there's also so many mounts in this game. <laughs> Take the polar bears, for example. They come here looking for an easy meal, drawn by the smell of our cook fires, and then raid our stores. Think you could fit the numbers a little? Killing four or so of them would suffice. You'll be compensated for your troubles, of course. Cool. Um... Anyway, so might as well do some killing. Uh, uh, Stormbolt blocks that. Nice. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm gonna grab Heaven Sword and um, Stormblood Deluxe this week. Perhaps we've seen. Upper paid all my bills. And shit. Whatever, whatever it is. More reason just WoW plays making the servers lag. Yeah, I've heard something about DDoS in but I don't know how long it is. More than possible. Yeah, people. Well, that's the thing, it's kind of like a mixture of both of the A, like... Like, people coming back from Endwalker, plus... Wow, Exodus. Oh, true, we're also getting, uh... Drop requirements while we do this, uh, fake. Sick. Sick. You're here as well, nice. Oh, we got some room. 
rooms as well. Yeah. It's like, it's like, honestly, it's like a perfect storm of set. <laughs> like the WoW Exodus and the coming of Endwalker. Like, dude. Like one of those disaster movies. Where like fucking like a storm coming and there's sharks. Like just a fuckload of sharks migrating and then like there's like uh, hurricane starting and then all the sharks get sucked up into the hurricane and then you get shark later. Perfect storm. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, dude, I, I love. I actually, unironically love Sharknado, man. Oh, oh fuck it! Go use this. Break my legs. Oh, my battery is running low. Let's go. Go have a shower. My controller can charge. Which one, Tara Reed? She's all right. She's all right. She was way hotter in uh, American Pie. Before all the fucking plastic surgery and shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Ooh, we got a can of yak milk. Here. Wow, these yaks dropped their fucking milk free can. Very nice, dude. Don't have to worry about it getting spoiled. Alright, cool. This one off and we'll go turn in this quest up here. Again, this music reminds me so much of Astro's Playroom. Ooh! Hello! Arcathonus. Get some hunts done while we're here, eh? I just realized that that spin resets the timer on my um, storm rage. Salon. Uh... Is there a subreddit called like Final Fantasy Dad Jokes or something? Because I used to love um, this one subreddit called Skyrim Dad Jokes. <laughs> Jesus. Uh... 
Oh man. That's pretty good. Alright. Nadini! I guess this, this unlocks this dungeon for us. Best trip my friend came with. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good one. What's this? A ward of House Four Times wishing to enter the Dusk Vigil. You are aware that the ruins are infested with wild beasts, and God only knows what else, are you not? Why, just the, another day, uh, one of the convictors claimed to have seen a massive winged beast. Not a dragon, mind, but something altogether different. But far be it from me to deny an esteemed personage the opportunity to kill himself in new and exciting ways. Pray go on ahead. Alright. What do you call a poor Lala? Uh, no idea. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. Alright, so we need to do the Dusk Vigil at some point. Maybe when I get back uh, from the shower, I will queue up for the Dusk Vigil. How are we doing with the uh, Ether Currents? Yeah, we've got, we've, got, we've got like almost all the normal ones. We're just going to get the ones from Quest. Is that the way up here? I cannot tell. Oh, there's a fishing spot here. Okay. He came with him as yes, eh? Damn. Nice. I'm, I'm not good at coming up with like punchline, like, like, jokes like that. You know what I mean? Like, I sort of come up with jokes as I hear things and I sort of riff on it. Alright, there we go. Uh, someone just said revive, please. I don't know where he is. Um. Yeah, I also don't know where the fuck he is. Uh, maybe I could... Oh, he got to revive. Okay, cool. He just said thanks in chat, so should be something. Like I was thinking, like, how could I find him? I was like, well, I can send him a party invite. I was about to go do that, and then... <laughs> he sort of got... That's gross. My throat's kind of... cold up a bit. Um, another Ether Current. Sweet! Hey, kitty! Damn, I've almost, like, unlocked flying here. Like, there's one more one that we can find in, in the world. And then the other ones are just from quests. Hey, kitty. To it seem that collecting firewood is a new experience for Master Alphano. It is, must have been a privileged upbringing. <clears throat> have you the hides we need? Yes. I do. Can't wait to get some blood. Yeah, man. I'll get there. I'll get there pretty soon. Kitty. Ah, I should have known it would be you. Oh, hello, Ice Heart. Word reached me of a struggle with a small but well-armed band of trespassers. Forgive my comrades their hostility. Few come here uninvited, and fewer still with good intent. Mm. Sure. Now, tell me why you are here. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't match with you on Tinder, so you know, I had to come here. <laughs> Get a cool so, eyes looking map. Yeah, you dude. seek to stem the Dravanian tide with talk. Oh, the one from finishing the Heaven's Ward story. It looks pretty sick. If you but the truth, screenshot of it. the spark which lit the flames of this animosity, you would understand the futility of your quest. Okay. Shall I relate it to you? The sordid history my gift has shown me. That which the Holy See has taken such pains to <laughs> Exactly. Express. That's why we came here, Iceheart. It gets lonely out here in the cold. 
'twas more than a millennium past when an Elizan tribe first sought to claim the lands of Kurthas as its home. Unfortunately okay. for them, Kurthas was already home to dragonkind, and they were not inclined to make way for the invaders. Thus did a bloody war begin. A war which might well have rumbled on until one or the other side was exterminated, had it not been for the resolve of a single woman. That woman's name was Shiva. Shiva! While Shiva. those around her fought and died, she attempted to parley with the dragons, and in so doing discovered them to be possessed of profound intelligence and reason. The great worm Horace in particular so enchanted Shiva that she found herself growing to love the creature whom her people considered a monster. Yeah. <laughs> Shiva Las Vegas. <laughs> in the eyes of a near immortal dragon, however, the fleeting oh, life of an Elizan is as that of a freshly cut rose. Scarce has the flower bloomed before it begins to fade and wither. Such melancholy musings plagued Horace Vulgar who had found in Shiva an unexpected and beloved soulmate. He knew that all too soon, death would snatch her away from him. Okay. Unable to bear the thought of their separation, the maid bid the worm consume her, that their spirits might be entwined for eternity. Damn. Though loath to perform the deed, Hraesvelgar ultimately gave in to her plea, and soon thereafter the tale of their ill-fated love spread throughout the two warring factions. No more could they raise blade or claw against one another, knowing that the souls of their kin were so inextricably bound. Okay. In the days that followed, man and dragon learned to live in harmony and together built a nation unlike any the world had ever known. For 200 years did this blissful age of peace continue, as it would to this day, had vilest envy not stirred in the hearts of the Elizin. Hmm. It is said that worms owe their longevity to the boundless reserves of vitality found within their eyes. And twas in this belief that a traitorous band of knights deceived their allies of some two centuries and took by force that which they coveted. Nidhogg. He who now stands poised to unleash his wormlings upon Ishgard was the great dragon who lost an eye to Elizan treachery. Yeah. <laughs> and until he prizes it from the hands of the traitor's progeny, no amount of conciliatory. I really need to like sit down and listen to like, the Final Fantasy XIV soundtrack. Like, just the entire thing, like a Realm Reborn soundtrack. Heavy you are Lord wrong, Storm, Lady Ashrad. And Walker eventually. Lest you misunderstand, I do not doubt your vision of the past. Tis true that Nidhogg greatly desired to reclaim the Eye. Indeed, it was for that very reason that I kept it with me as I roamed the land, attempting to draw him away from the city. So what happens when your series is like known for like several decades of making amazing music? Hey, how's it going, dude? How you doing? No fox, how you doing? Good gods! The fuck is that? Until recently, Nidhogg seemed unable to resist its allure and pursued me relentlessly. Hmm. Needless to say, that is no longer the case. Now, it would seem, he has fixed his attention on Ishgard itself. You believe he targets the capital Looks like for another Cthune. reason? Like the Cthune eye? <laughs> I believe reason has all but left him. Through the eye, I feel much of what Nidhogg feels. And the dragon's thirst for vengeance will not be quenched by aught less than a sea of blood. 
and then we must kill Nidhogg. You doing good? That's good, man. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, man. We're just uh, finishing this section of the quest if chain. If Nidhogg is indeed lost to reason, BRB for a little bit, and then we're going to come back to the next section. Why do we not seek an audience section. with Hreisvelger instead? He has thus far shown no inclination to aid in the invasion of Ishgard, and may yet welcome our efforts to broker a peace. Alright. <laughs> you still believe that a peaceable solution can be found? <sighs> Very well. I will take you to him. Yeah, somehow I don't think peace with Nidhogg is going to be possible. Our road will lead us to Dravania, the homeland of Dragonkind. There we shall ascend unto the clouds, where Hraisvulgar resides. More modern Naruto? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Though he's way more nerdy. Uh, we have a division? Oh shit. Hey, we're, are, we, are we restoring the crystals slowly? Nice. This words are deeper than me playing. Jesus. <laughs> oh man. Hmm. My heart. Ugh. Is autumn miss, my friend? Yes. I sense the many uh, battles are beginning to no. take their toll. I, it's been a long time since I've watched Naruto, while. so I can't remember. And should you lose sight of us, Dravania lies beyond the mountains to the west. Uh, oh, we're going to Dravania. Sweet. I can do my next warrior quest. Finally. Sweet. Curious. The vestiges of thy mistress's It's so weird, like, are not as the Midgard Soma, they were. like, this version of him, it's just like, he's like this little tiny dragon, and he's like, Yes, I am Midgard Soma, I am very serious, and threatening. Thy will to succeed grants thee unusual fortitude, but will it be enough? Is find the part with Zabuza? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to think of serious when he's like this little fucking like petite dragon. It's like nee, 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 nee. <laughs> Hey kitty. Sweet. pick this up and then I'll be I'll be where the chocobos roam that's the first part of the next chain sweet you are Axel yes pray address me as your sail if you wish tis passing strange is it not that fate would bring us together thus never did I think to walk alongside the warrior of light but history is full of such unexpected alliances so we make our way into Dravania then the chill of the Western Highlands is unrelenting and I would never sooner be under the sheltering canopy of the chocobo forest cool uh, yeah, let's uh, do that. Um, so, I'm gonna quickly run back here uh, and turn this quest in. Um, Yes, I'm pretty sure if I turn both these quests in here, that would give me two Ether Currents, then we get the one from Dusk Vigil, and that leaves us with one left out in the open world. And then we unlock flying here. Cool. Thank you. Alright. Well, well, you're certainly more reliable than any lordling I've ever met. They've only got eyes for dragons, even though I tell them time and time, time and again that if no one sees to those bears, they'll be nary a scrap to eat, but do they listen? Hmm. I dare say everyone around here could stand to be a little more like you. 
Well, I said you'd be compensated, and I'm true to my word. I trust you'll consider the fair remuneration for your efforts. Uh, let's see. Bacon bread. Bacon bread. Yeah. But, I, mean, I mean, it'd be cool to have a little pet dragon. Let me say. How to train your dragon, but in real life. Slay those rooms already, have you? How did you find them? They put up much of a fight. Good work, lad. Clearly, the Azua Dragoon doesn't travel with mere amateurs. It sounds like those room, uh, room, uh, rooms barely put up enough of a fight to be considered a proper warm up. You clearly know what you're doing. If you want to try your hand at hunting down some dragons, speak with me again sometime. Very well. Oh, dude, I don't want that mount. The zoo. Sick. Alright. Um. Right, so I'm assuming to find the one Aether current that I'm missing. Look up a map, I guess. And, uh. Oh, I mean, I could probably just, um. Eight hundred and eighty-one the arms in the southeast, okay. I don't really have a any context for how far a yarn is, but uh Hold up. Oh, shit. Uh, let's pop it again. 633. Okay, so it's like near back down here. Might as well just fucking fast travel here. I just want to get this before I go. <laughs> before I grab a shower. Um, and then, yeah, we'll continue. We'll do this next, uh, section. Uh, let's see. Yep. Uh, to the northwest. Okay. So I'm guessing it's, like, in here somewhere. Uh, can you order one, please? Oh, it's right there. Sweet. Okay, so that's... Cool. Alright, so that's... Yeah, it's literally the last one for this area besides the quest one, which we get from... This one. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. I will fast forward back to here so we get the rest of the next people I'm going. Uh, and yeah, then we'll continue with the story. When I'm back, I will come back real quick. Um, yeah, sweet. I will be back soon.